I first got interested in medicine in the fifth grade. My older brother, Marchant, gave me a book called Gifted Hands by Dr. Ben Carson, who's a pediatric neurosurgeon. This book just drew me in. I finished it within three days, and I saw a lot of parallels in Dr. Carson's upbringing as well as mine, you know, being African-American, coming from a household where his parents really focus on education, dreaming big, thinking big. So I thought, you know, medicine uh, could be a great way uh, to impact people, heal people for a lifetime. During my high school career, uh, I just wanted to be a well-rounded person. I played football, but I didn't want to be categorized as just a jock. So I gave tours around the school. I ran for student body president and ended up winning. I was editor of our school newspaper. I played the baritone saxophone as well. I was on the think team. We did different brain brawl competitions around the county. And I also acted as the lead role in Phil and Roof as Tevya. If I were a rich man, all day long I bitty bitty bum. If I were a wealthy man, that's all I can give you. I was ranked the number one high school prospect in the country my senior year. I went to Florida State University. I only played for three years. Wish I played for a fourth, but I won a Rhodes Scholarship and Oxford was calling. So I took a year off to go to Oxford and earn my degree in medical anthropology. Playing in the NFL was something that I wanted to do for a long time, unfortunately. Taking that year off affected me in my draft stock. Coaches and some other people around the National Football League felt that I was a little more committed to academics than than athletics, and I really didn't need football. So, you know, that hurt a bit, but I got drafted in the sixth round much later than I was supposed to if I had come out a year earlier. But even though it was a lot later than I wanted to be, uh, is a truly, truly special thing. You're playing with the best players in the world. Fan support is unbelievable. The level of the game, the intensity is incredible. My first game as an NFL player, I played against the Seahawks. I was on the opening kickoff. Uh, I got to hit somebody. I didn't make the tackle, but you know, I got to put my shoulder pad into somebody. I said, I'm here. I made it. It was a difficult decision uh, to move away from football uh, and move into medicine, but this is a career where I can impact many people. The kind of difference that I can make is really strong. Currently, I'm a first year medical student at the Florida State University College of Medicine. The specialty that I'm interested in is neurosurgery. It's a truly fascinating discipline. You have a brain system that is full of different networks and wiring that control distal parts of your body. The brain is set up in such a way where an area, a structure that's near another area may have a completely, completely different function, may affect a completely different part of the body. And I just think that is so incredible. It's not like any other organ in the body. I do miss football at times, but as soon as I miss it, I go right back to the fact that I have to study for the endocrine system. I know that I have a different purpose right now and a purpose to, to treat my future patients. And that, to me, is, is more gratifying and fulfilling than any interception or tackle that I ever made on the football field.